deep dish, modern wide body, road legal, kachow, kachow, lifted, Insley Harriet, shopping trolley, an MX5, whoa, <laughs> Jack Daniels, <laughs> paint splattered, Batmobile. <laughs> Madam C and welcome to the back seat of our Honda Accord. Today we're heading to Devon and BHP Fuel Fest. So it's quite a long journey, a bit of a road trip for us, but it's a new location, so should be a great day. So let's see what we see on the way there. Wow. That is a Ronart Lightning. Wow. On find. You see the state of it. Was it a bit it's very, very dusty? dusty. Yeah. I don't know why we do this. Every time you go past Stonehenge, it's like, oh, quick, get a picture. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. It's just some stones on a hill. Are we there yet? No. We've got some kind of Range Rover Donk over here, or monster truck. Beefy, very beefy. Here we are, BHP show. We're in there. People are going to see my hand out the window like, is that a, is that a Lord timepiece? We are parallel parking. So today is going to be probably the warmest day of the year. We've parked by this S14, which has got some sus handprints on the bonnet. I can't really pick that up. <laughs> Someone's been enjoying themselves this morning. And apparently this one isn't rusty, according to the finger lines. Uh, um, that suggests otherwise. Adam, yeah. D-cat. It's a D-cat. <laughs> Oh, they've decatted their Toyota. Wait, what is it? It's a Toyota Corolla Verso T180 D for D. Well, someone's been doing a bit of D for D on that S14 with the handprints and RX8 wheels as well. We need to go into the main show because this this isn't it. So there is an indoor part of this show, which is where a lot of the show cars are parked, including very clean Volkswagen Golf here, sat on BVS. The green clashes with the green on the floor, and beyond the Jetta, we have. A Dodge Viper RT10. I mean, I did not expect out of all cars to see here to see a Dodge Viper. I've always said I've wanted a yellow car, I've said I've wanted a Viper. Here we have a yellow Viper. He has some facts, it's not for sale. Oh my god, there's a modified child's toy stand. They have slammed and modified and painted the kids' toys, even some of them with LEDs. I like the wooden wheel. Harnesses. Oh, it's got a hydro, yeah. Audi R8 V10 wheels on the van. It's like a GMC truck. It's a Jaguar, that's one. Audi R8 seat. Audi R8 seat. seats, yeah. Is it like a Jaguar S type banger racer? Oh, should I? <laughs> Turbo. Oh, it's got a spoolie boy on the front of it as well. And of course, bring Neon's back on the little tykes slams mobile with the deep dish chrome alloys as well a bgw on the back we got purple as well got a bit of rust on this one needs a restoration leds on the front of the orange example what's this it's like a a, a dodge of lambo lambo doors i like the lambo doors you can't actually get in unless you're the size of an ant nardo gray yeah it's a nardo gray audi with a smiley face and some brave wheels. A new trend of having like a roof box as part of a show scene. Oh look, it's that um, Daihatsu K car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a Volkswagen on this one. Kachow. A project car on the booth. Bring Neon's it's back. On it's on air. Oh, it's on air? Battery's getting a bit flat. Yeah. Oh wow, check out this BMW. Is that a 2002 with like a modern wide body kit? That's gleaming. It's got Neon's in the engine bay too. That is so wild. Um, have you seen this? A two-seater dragster road legal thing, front engines. Are these? They're not exhausts. Yeah. They're exhausts, yeah. V12. I wonder whose V12 it's got. Two-seater, you, you kind of, would you want a weedy bar? Because if you have like a really extra large person on the back, Oh, it says Jaguar racing, it could be a Jaguar V12. It's called the Jagster, so I'd imagine it's a Jaguar V12. Yeah. Limited to 186 and it has a parachute. Oh look, we've got the RX-7 behind it and the chrome blue with a diffuser that looks a bit oversized. I'm going to presume it's a time attack car. You could put about five fists up that one. The thing about quick release is it's quick to open the bonnet. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Just around from this, there is this BMW 700 that we saw recently. I'm liking the Camaro. It's very clean with a big bulge to display. It's 5.7 litres. It's only 1600 or 16.5. Yeah, it'd be difficult to strap a cow to this roof. Of course, we've got the Torino in the classic livery. Talking of Deliveries. Check out this Marlboro Renault 5. What's this, like a Lada? It's something Russian. I know, I'll try and read the badge. Let's see. 
it's the <laughs> I don't know. really nice bronze copper colour on this GT86 here. Got the nice S2000 as well. We saw this one recently. It's got the Lambo doors and the triangular exhausts. There's the beefy front end of the Scirocco in purple next to the white S14 slam to the floor. I mean, you could hardly slip a pinky in there. Well, look, grey car, brave wheels. And this S15 here with its S13 friend in two-tone next door, white with bronze at the bottom and a pink polo GTI without a bonnet. The bonnet will be somewhere. And then a wide body transit. Oh, he's giving me a Hemi. There's the Golf with the AE86 flashing away. Parked up in its own little pen so we know touchy touchy. There's a British touring car spec Focus ST with the Hot Wheels livery and BTCC wide arches. And I just noticed on the Chrome Audi we've got a love heart wheels. We've got cars with fewer wheels than what is normal. Wow, look at it. It's a beast race car, a few cars in their camouflage wrap, a nice trio of them, in fact I'll give them a bit of space. We've got a 289 Mustang in maroon next to this Civic. We have the Caddy with a Toyota Hilux. That's a bit sus. It's a 1J or 2J. This Civic almost doesn't look like a Civic anymore. There's the slammed Golf next to the Beetle with some interesting cuts and grooves for better air cooling. Someone's screaming. Who's screaming? He's screaming. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that was a big. I think everyone at the front of the show just went, oh yeah, on demand. We've got one Supra and two uh, Tupra, Toyota Tupra, and then this purple Renault Megane, which is actually yellow. It's it's two-tone, but kind of split in half diagonally. So it's it's very, it's like a lime green yellow on this side. And then green interior. That's a funny looking microfiber. Hello, we have a, a new arrival. So we started indoors, we're heading back outdoors into the sun to burn ourselves silly. First off, we have the wooden style dashboard on the Beetle. Oh wow, an E92. Oh, he sent it too much. <laughs> So whilst everyone is watching the drifting, a lot of the cars are left unattended, including this poor little MX-5 over here. Anyone fancy a game of chess? There's a cherry red Glanzer here as well. We've got some modern art on the smart, bronze details, and an MG X-Power with vents that don't vent. And the tow bar, the rover wheel, and the lack of rover wheel suggests that it maybe wasn't an MG. So I don't know if there's any theme to the way the cars are spread out, or maybe they use the club sections with this, which looks like a JZX, of, it's a boosted barge basically. What is it? We've got a Nissan Laurel. Right, very large turbo on the IS200. Ah, oh, and a pair of scissors. Thank you. Next to the yellow 350Z, we've got the wide body CRZ. A couple of Zs. Is that a Supra? Oh, the wide body Lexus over here. That looks cool. So, this is a whole new location that I am completely unfamiliar with. So, I'm just kind of walking around hoping to spot some niceties to show you whilst the drifting's going on and all the burnt rubber is kind of sticking to me and all my sun cream that I've got on. 370Z is living the V6 life. They didn't even bother taking the S13 off the trailer, they've just unhitched it and left it there. Like, there you go, it's on show, like the Abarth and the R32. So, round in the far corner, whilst it seems tandems are going on over there, we have a high-vis Audi, which is reflecting nicely off the DC5, even with the matching high-vis badge. Next to the green Golf with the Porsche-style wheels, there's a Z3 over there in 
green as well. Oh wow, look at the spoiler on the Subaru, it's extra large. And talking of extra large and lifted things, we've got this lifted MX-5 with like the asphalt effects all over it. Surfboard strapped to the roof, if you can call that a roof. It's a Mark 2.5. Well, nice to see something lifted rather than slammed. Then we have a liquid yellow MX-5 with pop-up delete. So, why does this wide-body Mini have no bonnets? What is he displaying? Of course, it's a Honda engine inside. There's even a Capri at the back here next to another MX-5. Quite a nice yellow 996 over there next to the 350Z. There's probably going to be loads of those. There's a early Mr. 2 with its pop-ups up. And we've got the MX-5 with the center stripe, a bit like a Cobra. Blue with silver stripes, colour flip wheels on the Prelude. We have this JZX80 boosted bar. Check out the way the bonnet catches the sun and the details in it and chopsticks on the dashboard as well. We've got a, another kind of tarmac -y style on the colour of this Golf and the Cookie Monster. Are you making cookies? Says the cookie. I can't do the voice. There's even some kind of fluffy Cookie Monster wrap around the windows. Oh, there's the cookie. Oh, there's the cookie. It's had a bite taken out of it. Who's bitten the cookie? Was it you? A bit of sun cream for the car in case it burns. There's a used and abused S13 here as well. I think it used to be purple and now it's not as purple. It used to be red. It used to be red. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, there's a bit of red in there. Look at the fish! How is he surviving out of water in this sunshine? Ah, now the boot is up, so it's not quite as big a spoiler as I initially thought, but we should have a look at this Puma. So, we have this pair that provide us with a bit of a sticker showcase. This is the sound of money exploding! No meows given. We've got the tribal graphics up the side. Oh wow, the seats are quite the spectacle, and there's whatever that box is. In, is that a cat? That's a cat carrier. Is there a cat in It's there? a fridge. No, is it a fridge? A fridge is a can of coke in there. Oh. So the Puma is equally as entertaining. We've got Keep Calm and Hug a Penguin. There's an orange towel on the dash matching the orange details. Is there life after death? Touch my car and find out. Well, let's have a look. Oh, wow. That is weight saving. Some kissing penguins now. So this is like a penguin theme with some pistons. And we've got the cat theme on the golf. So we've got to be careful. These premises are protected by penguins, so they'll be waddling around somewhere protecting the car. This is what we like to see though. I like it. We've got this Land Rover who is up on top of three wheels. Now the temptation is to get underneath and film, but um, I might get dripped on because it is an old British vehicle. And then we've got the glittery pink Audi S3. So much sparkle in the sunlight. Oh, it's called Barbie. Check out the Nova with the gaffer tapes door and Elmo. We had the Cookie Monster somewhere over there. Now we've got El oh. It's been driven here by an extraterrestrial being. He's also displaying quite a substantial sticker showcase. Can't put that in. Oh no, can't put that in. It's Ainsley Harriet. Rust is lighter than carbon fiber. Red lights are for prostitutes. Um, yep, yep, we get that one. Hello Jackie, you look nice. I've seen a lot of Lego themed engine bays, but none quite to this level. We now have a new arrival, this Golf, who has a wolf in a slammed shopping trolley on its roof. So I'm now gonna get distracted from the R34 due to the the fact that there's a TVR Chimera parked next to it with its 4.5 litre Rover V8, 544.9. It's turbocharged. There's his Garrett on display. How brave does one have to be to pull off a set of these wheels on the S2000? They're very luminous. Is this like a wide arch triumph? Mm, that's a little sus. MX-5 engine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a Toledo. But the fact that it's got this interior also from an MX-5 and seats, I'm presuming, and even the windbreak, it's probably an MX-5 that's been stretched a little bit with the Triumph Toledo body on top. Ah, now from the other side of this car, when the sun wasn't hitting it, I didn't notice all of the colours in the paint job, it just kind of looks grey. There are some bubbles, who's got the bubbles? So why is the E36 bonnet up? For it is displaying his turbo. Not quite as much as the Chimera, but 328 horsepower. So I think you're probably getting used to the kind of material that I enjoy filming, such as 
this colourful E46 with the matching scooter on the front. We've got greens, turquoises, purples, blues, some rusty browns, brave greens as well. There's a few more examples. We've got the sparkly colourful bonnets. Check out this E36 drawing with the uh, white rear lights. And then there's this camo matte greeny grey E46 convertible with the Nando's chicken as a hood emblem and Yoda on the dash and this lovely lady as well. We next have this combination shot and a loud alarm. We've got the R34 GTR next to an R33 GTR and a beep. Who's beeping? Do, 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 do. The Evo has actually framed his dyno readout, producing 561.3. So he is winning for the day so far for the highest displayed power on a dyno readout. There's a Mark II Focus RS which is sat on air. We've got an R33 Duo, purple with white, and a few arrivals coming in, including a turquoise four door R34. Oh, there's an MX5 with and stripe. So there it is, pulling into the field. There is a whole field section all the way down there, it stretches to almost the horizon, still to look at. Check out the wheels on this Focus ST, they've been like paint splattered. There is the world's smallest supercar section with the yellow 430 Spider and a couple of Audi R8s. We've got a chrome blue TT. Check out the sparkle on the Supra. There's a lot of bass and a wide 350Z next to a wide RX7 as well. I mean, there's so much to look at here. What's he leapfrogging and stunting it? Oh, whoa! So, to get a good look at what's on display, there are some bicyclists doing some bicycling over there with a playground and bouncy castle and some trampolines. It's a big show. I've never been to this show before, so I didn't know what to expect. And there is a chaser as well, which means it's a good show. So chaser with its little tyke's friend on display. This chaser is actually green and not black in color. We have a slightly modified Lexus SC sat on some nice chromed wheels in red, which actually doesn't look too, I don't know. Well, I don't want to say horrendous, but Top Gear did vote this as the worst car in the world, but I actually don't mind them and they're kind of jag inspired interior. And this one has exhaust that looks like a pair of spread legs. I think this Volvo once was red and I think these seats once were a leopard. We've got the crew of very warm cars, the GTR, the M5, the Audi R8 and the C63. Oh, noises from the M5. And an El Camino behind them as well. Oh, we've got Sandra on the side of this Honda. I mean, Sandra and I go way back. There is the Imperial Blue Crew, starting with the Puma with ventable headlights. Always good to see a Ford Racing Puma next to a Mark 1 Focus RS. Oh, we've got another old friend of mine. This is Margaret. We went to uh, knitting classes together in college. We've got this Honda Accord Coupe with the yellow headlights, and it's a maroon colour as well. There's a wing on the... Kia? The roof scoop, does that but it vent? it was further forward. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's... It yeah! The, the roof scoop did a little skip over the... Oh, yeah. Someone's had a massive dump on top of their snail. Oh, it's Gary! It's an event What's ball. round the back? Oh, it's a quad exhaust, such as on the Lamborghini Aventador, but slightly different on this Kia. Oh, there's some more sparkly paintwork on this BMW 3 Series Touring. Glittery orange all the way, next to a blue RX-7 with a large, very fistable exhaust. You could almost stick your head in there if you had a fairly small head. You could fit the head of something in there. We've got a BMW M Sport livery on the M4 over there as well. The MX-5 looks very warm. Does anyone fancy a game of Twister? Harley Quinn is now on a Fiesta. They've already lifted themselves up so you can work on them later. There's a couple of jazzy jazzes. We've got this Revere Range Rover with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lights as well as the normal lights. There's one underneath. Oh, oh there's another one there, 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Two more. 12, 13, 14, 15. 17 including the headlights. 17 including the headlights, right, okay. It's a Land Rover Range Rover Revere Limited Edition V8 HSR Cosworth Sport S. Us Brits, we love the sun, but we love the shade even more. The One Series with a beefy M2 front bumper. And the One Series has had an unfortunate incident. He's been involved in a predicament whilst parking up, presumably rolled back, then maybe forwards, and the diffuser has diffused itself off. We've got the combo with the Tigra front end and the Saab engine. And it's a Triumph Herald showing off its turbocharged MX-5 engine. The amount of black Fabias you see at these... Oh, it's red. Ah, oh, right, it's just very dirty diesel. We've got an S15 
enduro, really loving the front bumper on this example. Nice to see the comparison of kind of more stock versus slightly more modified. Someone's doing some revolutions so we can pay attention to their car. And at any show of this kind of size, you're always expected to see a white Toyota Chaser because, of course, everyone loves a white Chaser. And best of all today, I think there's another one just beyond the McLaren and the E30. So we have the Nismo GTR, the Lexus with the white body kit, and here is the second white Toyota Chaser of the day, who is part next to a purple one with graphics all down the side and a large spoiler on the back. What do you think of this? Would you have a purple modified chaser in almost like a drift car spec with the livery branding down the side or just a kind of clean white chaser? Because of course everyone loves a white chaser, but what about purple? You'll get a lot of burnt ankles on French pedestrians if ever he travels abroad. This is like a bit of an Adam C section because beyond the chasers we've got the Volvo wagon and a lot of content down this row. It might not initially seem it, but we've got the scary rabbit and the upside down bat skeleton. Oh, is this? Winning the award for the most powerful dyno readout, 601.2 horsepower in, in this, I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess that he's stolen that from another car. Normally it says, there you go, description, chaser, right, there we go. So one of these two is winning the award so far, he is disqualified. We've got the debadged Honda Accord as well, with a ninja. And on the bonnet we've got them Japanese writing which actually says Honda and the original translation for Honda is rice field which is, uh, I don't know, it's uh, fitting with the car. We've got some guttering down the side of some splitter extensions, they were like £10. So we've got Russell on the Lexus and this Suzuki Ignis which is quite the sight to behold. We've got the Jaguar bonnet emblem right in the middle of the very fragile bonnets, we'll take care of that. Maximum head, I can get behind that, and some rubber chickens on the front of it. We've got some rusty teeth with a bike chain. I hope these squeak. I, I won't touch because, you know, it's rude to touch others' cars, although they're not part of the car, they're chickens. <laughs> There's been some kind of leakage from a cage on the wing mirrors. We've got some stripes. Oh, it's the Japanese rising sun and some warning sign down on the side skirts. The wheels are brave. Um, there's that. Oh, who's this? Oh, he's holding a bone. Oh, it's a Jaguar. It's a Jaguar, the one you said, V8. That's interesting. I didn't know Ignis's came with that. And side pipes. Well, B is for build. So that is the Suzuki Ignis, sorry, that is the Jaguar Ignis with side pipes, the one you said, and with rubber chickens and a little pig on the bonnet as well. There is a pistachio green Lexus with a Reaper Celica behind it. So just over here is the Safari Park. We've got this IS200 doing some maneuvers. Is he coming this way? Yeah, he's coming this way. It's a zebra that's fallen into a pool of Fanta. That's what it is. There's even more bonnets with the graphics on them. So we've got this demonic guy with no face and a skeleton praying that he gets spotted by Adam C. We have a sparkly purple 300ZX next door to an R33 with a Tommy Cara badge. Is it a Tommy R33? Next to a 180SX with some stickers. Ding, ding. It's a Honda NSX. Oh, it is a Honda NSX. Of course it is. The Toyota NSX or the Honda Mr. 2? Is it a Honda engine? Oh, that'll be why. Oh, someone's been involved in a predicament. ka -chow? So, next to the Asbo, someone has let a child loose on this Skoda providing brave green wheels and a lot of paint splatter. So it's like a, a universal space illustration all over the Asbo Skoda. So this is some kind of equestrian riding ground. We've got a pen in here with another section. So we'll go in here, past the rock saying the forest ring, which I presume this section is, and see what we can see, including the Micra K10. Oh, you're an alcoholic, I see. Yeah. Fantastic. So what we got? Some Jack Daniels, Ambrosa. Love it. Oh, look at this. It's a four-door Toyota Camry, I think. We don't see these. That's cool. For a sunny day like today, all these dark cars are going to be boiling on their drive home. That's why when you go to warm countries, all the cars are white because they don't get quite as warm as the darker colored cars. Check out the CRV with the front splitter and the tinted headlights. Someone's bought their guitar. They've got the capo on top. It's a little Spanish guitar in the back. They're also selling some man love. Well, if it comes with the guitar, that's a more attractive deal. I think the general theme of today is there's a lot of sparkling, glittery cars and quite a few half ramps as well. Oh, we got the turquoise Ford R34 for providing the revolutions. <laughs> competition now. Who's going to play? Yeah, a little, little flash.
flames. Flame. It's a bit too bright. <laughs> too bright. Yeah. There is a BMW crew. Some of these have probably been slightly skewifly sideways at one point in their life. And we have another turquoise R34. This one, the two door. Here's with a graphite grey R32 and a Nissan Stager with an R34 front end conversion. And a very vibrant green Peugeot with some yellow details as well. And we've now got a off-roading course with some slightly smaller... Oh, we did a wheelie! I missed the content. I'm not used to the lightning fast acceleration of a remote control car. So it's a bit like Santa Pod here, just very different. Oh, a child has left her dolly behind. I don't know if we're following the content or the content is following us, but the RC cars are now in this field by the RX-7. And as with every meet that I ever go to, the police have turned up, this time in a Lotus Evora GT410 Sport. So all these speeding tickets are paying for the police to up their game so that they can catch more crims in your community. And whilst it may seem like I'm ignoring the Mark 1 Escort behind me, in front to me there's something a little bit different and a little bit more like the kind of stuff I enjoy seeing. We've got this Peugeot with the outline of a person. It's a bit of a crime scene. We need that Lotus Aurora to attend and paint splattered all over it with some decking and some deck chairs, well kind of office chairs, on the roof so they can watch the whole show from a nice up high position even though they're parked quite down low in the field from atop their Peugeot. We then have this grey Vectra with violets up the boots, the roof and the bonnet and this black BMW with pink up the boots, the roof and the bonnet. And a modified Peugeot 107. This is the generation one of the 107 and there's quite a bit going on. I've seen this a few times and just down from it is a bit of a hot rod. So that is a pretty crazy ride to see. We've got the skull on the front and some pistons and there is his spoolie boy there is a wraps car section with a satin green gur and this Audi which is black on the top that actually fades to chrome purple and it is parked next to a glittery orange AMG GTR and we have now entered a trade section with a Batmobile tumbler on display I don't know if this is actually road legal due to all the jagged points on it but um, yeah we've got the Batmobile let's have a look inside let's have a see what there is so um, there is, well it's not Batman, is that, that's not Batman, no it is, I think that's Batman, it's left hand drive and there's not a lot of visibility out the window. I don't think it is road legal because, oh there are the actual wheels, right I see these are for show. It's quite an impressive build. And next door we also have the Bat bike with a very thick wheel on the rear. Once again I don't think that is going to pass an MOT along with the Batmobile either, so Batman's got a bit of trouble if he fancies driving it in the UK. We've got some tandems going on. becoming drift cars and here we are Unfortunately, to have their hair sheared. And look, we have a silver Peugeot 206, which gives us a chance for a game of what's inside your car. On today's episode, we have a Cornish pasty, as well as some yummy scrummy lollipops. But from the BHP Fuel Fest, that was pretty much that. So lovely to be in a whole new location in the sunshine and spotting some more modified cars, some more quirky than others. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for all the daily updates and highlights about these meets I go to and photos of where I'm going to be, etc. But for now, thanks for watching.